Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. I am in my truck, so just bear with the lighting with me. It's the best lighting I've got. So I want to get this video out as fast as possible. So this is Rebel's latest and hopefully greatest 2020, 2024, 2024 winter edition, the iced vanilla berry. So it sounds very interesting, iced vanilla berry. I can get maybe the iced... I guess ice berry or ice vanilla, maybe as in frosted, so maybe frosted vanilla berry, but a very interesting combination of two flavors, isn't it? vanilla and berry, so it does sound really, really nice. Anyways, this is a full sugar uh, winter edition. They normally release sugar-free ones further down the line. £1.55 for a can now, which is just insane. Pretty much £1.60 for a can. It's just insane how expensive they've got. Anyways, like I said, full sugar, 11 grams of sugar per 100 mil. Everything else is your box standard, usual caffeine content, 32 milligrams per 100 mil. And of course, there's no, no other information about the uh, flavor on the back of the can. So, it's nice and cold. It's been in the fridge in the truck, so it's nice and cold. And we're gonna crack it open and get straight into it. Right. There we go. So the color, oh, the color is blue actually. Again, I don't show the color anymore and I haven't got a cup with me, but I can see the color is blue and it actually looks pretty dope actually. So the smell. Um, not really a vanilla-y smell as such. I think there's a sort of kind of berry smell kind of going on there, but yeah, not too sure on that smell. It doesn't seem to be that strong, which is not a bad or a good thing. But anyways, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Ooh. My initial thought on that, that does not taste great. Ooh, what the hell? That tastes, I literally just, I know I checked the day, but I've literally just picked this up yesterday. Oh, that is not good. Ugh. That is not great at all. What on earth? I mean, I've got two cans of it, um, you know, so I can review one and I guess drink another one until they become more common about, but yeah, that does not taste great at all, guys. That tastes really, actually quite nasty. Oh, my word. That is not great. It's like there's a really weird, like, off taste for most of the drink. I'm not going to lie. The iced bit doesn't really make any sense. And vanilla and berry, I'm not getting a vanilla taste or an ice cream taste because generally that's what vanilla can represent in fizzy drinks I'm not getting a vanilla taste and the berry is is just it, it tastes like it's gone off oh that is not that is not nice at all and in fact this is the full sugar one so it should technically taste better than you know say a sugar-free one but oh that's not that's not great guys Ooh, that is weird. And again, just for comparison, you know, I haven't just brushed my teeth or anything like that. You know, I've you know I've not long woken up from my sleep, you know, in my bed in the truck, and thought I'll have this before I start my shift. Yeah, that's not great. Really disappointed in that. Really disappointed that I heard about this obviously a while ago that it was coming, and I finally found it. And yeah, big letdown. Oh blimey, what over you thinking, Red Bull? Seriously. God, I wish I could work for some of these companies. They actually create nice flavours, honestly. Uh, and this isn't me, you know, I know, again, flavour can be a very hit and miss thing with different people's taste buds, obviously, at the end of the day and stuff, but there's some flavours that just work with everyone. You know, for example, well, I can name loads, but Monster Lewis Hamilton, Monster Pipeline Punches, blah, blah, blah. Millions of people like them, but this, I, if I don't like it, I really don't think people are going to like this. It just doesn't taste of vanilla or berry. It just tastes like it's gone off and it's weird. Oh, 
Oh, it's, yeah, it's not great whatsoever. The more I drink of it, it doesn't seem to get any better anyway. But, ooh, yeah, let down, unfortunately. Hmm, unless I've, I have had a dud cam, but I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. Yeah, I highly doubt that. I will try the other can in my own time and, um, you know, see if it tastes the same. But, yeah, I highly doubt I've had a random, randomly dud can that's gone off or tasted weird. You know, but there we go. But not great, guys. I mean, I would say just just pick it up maybe once just to try it for yourself. Even maybe try it warm. Maybe it even taste better warm, which is which will make a change. But yeah, not impressed with that. Big letdown for this year's winter edition. But there we go. Anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.